Scorpio, you are choosing you. Either a person or a situation is coming back because they want you back. There is so much passion and desire and happiness that is coming through this by you choosing you. Hi, this is Sonia here to do a tarot reading for you. All readings are timeless, and when you are drawn to this reading, there could be a message for you. Remember, energies can go both ways, so you could be a cross-watcher. Also, check out your moon and rising sign for better understanding, and if you'd like to support the channel, there are links to donate down below. If you'd like further understanding or spiritual understanding, you can subscribe to my other channel. There's a link for that below. Also, if you would like a personal reading, um, email me for rates or an appointment. And as always, thank you to all of you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And let's get started. Hi, this message is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, um, Venus, North Node. If you feel drawn to this message, it probably has something in, for, in it for you. So let's get started. So I drew the Oracle cards and... Um, the animal spirit cards, and then some tarot cards. And I'm going to clarify with another tarot deck as we go. Um, there's an overall oracle message, and I got ghost dance reversed. I just did Virgo. They got ghost dance as well. I can't remember if it was reversed or not, but um, I'm going to read that message. It's a shorter message from the book to you just to get started to see what we're looking at here. So I'm going to read the essence and then since it's reversed I'm going to read the medicine. Um, the ghost dance of the American Plains Indians united the spirits of the living with those of the ancestors to bring peace to the world. When the ancestors are honored they bring harmony to us. We want when we hold them responsible for all that is wrong with us today they haunt us. Honor the spirits of the ancestors and receive their lessons and gifts. This includes honoring your past lives. If you are trapped in a vicious cycle of nostalgia, mourning, a lost youth or opportunities missed, it is time to make an altar for your ancestors. Collect a few photos, light some incense, offer sage, and open the windows of your house to release them to their destiny and to the wind. Be wary of being snared in a relationship with someone from a past lifetime. As the people we loved or hurt have a way of repairing in our, reappearing in our own lives. There is no learning for you there anymore. Okay. So. So. <clears throat> I'm looking at the animal spirit cards. And we've got the tiger and the cheetah. That came out together. And then I've got. The camel and the oyster. That came out together. And they were both reversed. So. What I'm getting is that, most likely, someone from your past. Could be someone from your past, or it could be an energy coming towards you, like if it was, uh, like it was mentioning in the ghost dance oracle, like uh, your ancestors. But this energy is like fast, fiery, sensual, like looking at its prey, uh, it's like I'm getting a really sexual energy from it. Like, um, wanting to devour you, but not in, like, a harmful way. <laughs> but this, I'm seeing, like, I'm almost seeing this as you. Like, um, feeling... Like you haven't been having anything exciting in your life, maybe. And closing off from it. So let's see what's going on here. The next card. Okay, so we're going to look at the tarot. And I've got the Dreams of Gaia tarot I drew from first. And I clarified it with 
oh, is it called the Prisma Terror? I can't remember the name of it. But um, the Dreams of Gaia Terror, though, has really different meanings. So, but the first card I got is the Two of Fire, clarified with the Nine of Cups. Okay, so the Two of Fire is about um, teaming up with another energy. So it could be literally be another person. But I'm showing it's like a dream come true. That's the type of energy I'm seeing. But this also is indicating needing to pair these energies. Because what you could be doing is like getting this rush, right, of creative, energetic, passionate action. And then burning out. And like doing nothing, feeling blah, like empty, okay? You could be going back and forth between that. And so maybe not accomplishing something that you want to accomplish. Or you could be in this energy, and because you're in this energy, you've got this energy coming towards you. But the key is finding a balance. I'm looking at the other cards just to see if I see that. I see that right here. <laughs> okay, but we'll get into that in a minute. But first, um, I'm going to clarify what this Nine of Cups is and what this Two of Fire with the Light Seers Tarot. So what is the Two of Fire with the Nine of Cups for Scorpio? Cards are being silly. Okay. Two, cup, two of fire with a nine of chalices. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. <laughs> okay, so I've got justice and the five of cups. Balance, right? But justice with this Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups is about feeling like sad, nostalgic. I'm going to get one more card because this is about like, um, it was. it's like a veil was removed and you were working towards something or someone and realizing that you aren't going to have it. But then justice comes in to balance out the scales and it's like seeing, it's like seeing everything as it is and how it is how it's supposed to be. But let me see, let me get one more for the Five of Cups and Justice so I can see exactly so it came out with the Nine of Cups. It's almost like... Oh, there's way too many cards there. Okay, what? Holy cow. These cards are being a little nuts. Okay. Cards to clarify just as Oh my goodness. Keep getting piles. Okay, why is justice here with the five of cups and the nine of cups? Two of pentacles came out in reverse, so that's like needing to balance, make a choice. Like a, again, it's a little like about balance. There's like all this energy of finding balance. Okay. The Five of Pentacles reversed. It's like the same messages keep just keep coming out. Okay. <laughs> the Five of Pentacles is like, um, when it's reversed, it's like uh, realizing that you're... She's just... Okay, so... It's like... Be, see how she's outside the door and there's a keyhole there? It's like when it's reversed, it's about realizing that you have the key to open the door. 
Okay, so I think this message is something to do about not getting what you wished for and feeling like um, sad or like left out, but then realizing that you're the one with the key. And you're the one that can bring balance into your life. Um, someone might have, yeah, I'm, I keep getting this energy too of you feeling like someone was working towards some type of relationship and it not coming through. Because also, we've got the lovers on the bottom. Let's see where this goes. I got the Maiden reversed. The King of Wands upright. And I'm going to clarify that real quick first. What's the King of Wands with the Maiden reversed? Oh my gosh. Gracious. Sorry. These kids, there's these kids. <laughs> these cards are like jumping everywhere. Two paths with the two wands. This is like getting ready to take on a new path. Okay. Yeah. There must have been some type of something that wasn't received. Like a breakup or... You thought someone was like a soulmate or someone you were going to be with and it broke up or didn't happen. So what I'm getting with all of these together is something coming in that was like something you were wishing for. And it could be the return of someone you were once in a relationship with or maybe they were friends or you just had a fling with them and you say no to them because you're deciding to go your own way this is like um the advice from the maiden basically reversed is that just because it might hurt them you need to choose you. And I'm seeing that really strong because something about you're realizing it's not what you want, thought you were going to get or not what you really wanted. You're realizing that this is not the relationship or the dream that you wanted. And so you're choosing another path with this King of Wands. He knows what he wants and he takes action towards what he wants. And that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you come up as that energy. So the next cards we've got is the seven of fire reversed with the high priestess and temperance. You could be dealing with the Pisces or Sagittarius. But what this is saying is that you need to listen to your intuition and pay attention by observing. So if someone comes in and they say one thing and do another, like but their actions don't back up what they're saying, it's basically saying to not be dismissive pay attention, address it, maybe move away from it. But it's not being extreme in one way or the other um, with temperance. It's um, And this can be someone coming in. It can be something that you're working on. If it's not giving the results, if it's not making you feel the way you thought it was going to, um, it's about paying attention to the results but also your intuition and how it's guiding you 
and bringing it into balance. It's about bringing your passion that you have and that gung ho -ness and the staleness into balance. Um, let me get a couple other clarifiers, but that's pretty clear. Um, why is the High Priestess here with the Temperance and Seven of Fire Reversed? And I don't need a whole stack of <laughs> cards. Hold on. Why is the Seven of Fire here with the High Priestess and Temperance? High Priestess and Temperance. Okay, I got the Knight of Swords. So I am showing you like, um, it's like going the other way from whatever this is that's coming in. So let's, let's keep going, but let's like, you're moving away from it. Like there's something that comes in that you thought was like a dream come true, but realizing it's not a dream come true and not like it, this indicates going the other way, or it could be coming in real fast. Maybe I'll get one more. And it, it has to do with like paying attention Yeah, like if this is a, um, this, this is indicating, because I got the three of wands, or the three of wands and the fool, this is like taking a different path. Deciding to take a different path. So, we've got the queen of fire, the page of wands. This is like passionate action here, yeah. I, I see like, it's almost like once you, it's almost like in a way where something comes in to test if you've like learned. I'm not saying there's something out there testing you necessarily, but that's what it feels like, you know. Um, it's like choosing, choosing not to be, like choosing yourself, that's what I'm seeing, like choosing not to be dismissive of like poor behavior, poor results. Um, if something's not meeting up to your expectations, it's like choosing to go in a new direction. And it's not necessarily the complete opposite direction. It's just like tweaking it in some way. Um, let me get a clarifier for the Queen of Fire and the Page of Wands. The Knight of Wands. There's a lot of fire here. This is like... Wow. Um... So what I'm seeing is that if this is a person, okay, if this is a person coming in, that by you not being dismissive about um, actions not matching their words or behavior not matching their words and choosing to basically, like, this is how I want to be treated, so, like, and choosing yourself, if this is, like, you choosing this different path on what you've been dreaming of. This is like, and then I'm seeing you kind of getting like swept away in this passion. So like either this person um, is going to 
basically meet what you've been dreaming of when you choose yourself first. Or there could be someone else coming in. Or this is just you in your career or your... Um, it's a direction that you have been dreaming of, though. This is, like, really, really fiery. So, like, I'm seeing... Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, too. But the next card that I've got, too... I, the reason why I keep saying it's you is because we've got the self card with the ten of cups, ten of chalices... This is like complete emotional fulfillment. And it's through choosing you. It's almost like you um, finding this balance and choosing yourself, taking care of yourself, treating yourself like you want to be treated is going to bring in someone else too. Because in this Ten of Chalices, this is about... Um, Um, emotional fulfillment but you can see there's two people here on this so it I'm not gonna say that every that's gonna happen for everybody but that's what it's indicating okay this knight of pentacles it's clarifying it uh, what else do I have for self and ten of cups ten of chelsea Okay, I've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Magician reversed. I'm going to get one more because I'm not sure why they're reversed here. Why is the Magician and the Knight of Pentacles reversed? world and the star but the stars reversed you know what I'm, I'm getting from this you might have been dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo too or an Aquarius but what I'm getting from this is that because you chose yourself you chose you like if there is someone that you left behind or a job that you left behind, this is like it was taking all like being kind of selfish. But then it's like almost like seeing you have what you dreamt of with the world. It's like the world is like accomplishment, uh, completing a cycle, this is like you wrapping up a cycle of dealing with that type of energy. Like, um, why is the world here? I'm going to get one more. But the self card talks about like choosing yourself, not going with the flow, not uh, trying to fit in society. Page of Swords. Yeah. Someone is watching you. It's like there's someone watching you choose you. And like you are happy, being happy on your own. And the last card I got, oh yeah, okay, because I am, I'm seeing you choosing this, choosing yourself, choosing to be happy on your own. I'm seeing this person that you said no to watching you, and they were, might have been like exhibited selfish behavior, took a lot, but didn't give a lot, um, and they're seeing you like achieve and be successful and possibly your weird ways, okay? What other people might think is weird. And, um, but this is like bringing you um, healing, 
but I'm also seeing this causing healing in this other person because um, a couple different things I'm getting from this. I've got the Eight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. I They could possibly <laughs> reach out again. Like I'm seeing twice here because what it's doing is it's making them realize their ways. If, if you're dealing with a person, it's making them realize their ways. And I'm seeing like messages in them wanting to build this with you. But there's another thing I'm seeing here. I'm seeing you be like, I'm seeing someone be a healer. Like that actually could be what you're doing is providing healing to other people. And this is causing, you may have to move, but this is causing you to build something um, really sturdy and stable for yourself. And I'm seeing like fast um, movement, success. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Let's get one for the Eight of Wands. We've got the sun in reverse. It might be a Leo. What is the sun in reverse? Let's get one more. Why is the sun in reverse? And we got strength, which is also another Leo card. So yeah, I'm seeing that this is like, it's causing some type of healing. And we've got the Hanged Man for the Three of Pentacles, which is like a new perspective. It's causing someone to see their own shadow. It's like they didn't see it before. And then they get this new perspective on what you're doing and it's causing them to look at their own behavior and their own self. I'm also seeing like you be like a light to the world, a healing light, a healing light to the world. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there because um, that's what I've got for you. Um, if you like this message, um, feel free to comment down below. Um, I appreciate any likes and then if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.